A Frenchman, a Welshman, and an Irishman. Got into a bar. Yes, boy, you messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving mechanic. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Yeah, keep on talking there, Irish. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black. Yeah. What's up, boys? <sighs> Fuck off, boy. This don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boy -o. Look here. This petty bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Lost clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boy -o? The bloody cavalry? voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boyo. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. Won't you mind your own goddamn... Not bad. Two shots. Two shots. Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Uh, untrustworthy. Poor in personal hygiene. Lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. <laughs> what about the gun? It'll be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Look at thief Follow landing. Me, fella. I am a thief landing. Let's get this over with. The saloon's calling me. Come on, then. Let's find this toy. Alright, looks like we're going to... I want to see these landing. What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Choke of luck you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was me only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. <laughs> we all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Thick as thieves ever since, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, me pa always told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellows who are stealing airborne from a blind sow, and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The thieving bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. Wait, what? They'd be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. What? You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish, I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. Oh, that's where you had it. You can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. Go and store it just inside that chest. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. Sure. Is that a challenge? Are you deaf or playing dumb? Get the hell out of here! God damn it! Is only four of you? Eh, I'll shoot more. I'm getting the hang of this! I got a feeling. Sorry about this. I, I don't trust Irish people. I mean, I don't trust myself personally, and I'm part Irish. So. Damn it! 
regular double barrel. For some reason I thought he gave you the good double barrel. I need it more than you now. Okay, so ours decided to take off one man. I don't like when ours takes off one man. You know how close that W and I is together? I think they're both actually like right next to Oh, yes, right. I take care of that mission too. Where am I? Is a stranger over there? What am I looking for again? There's the, uh, there's the, Why is he all the way in plain view? Man, I don't need to the ideal location. Any animals here? Oh, I gotta take it. That was a deer. Get back here. Get over here. The heck did he? Seriously, how the heck did you get up there? Get over here, I need more of you. Oh, that's a buck. Dang it. It's funny because in real life, bucks and deers are basically no difference. But this is literally one of the few challenges in, like I've ever seen that you have to scan a certain kind. Where'd he go? Screw you. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and get a plane view. Plain view is probably the easiest job to do right offhand. I remember right. Between five and ten, really? I don't want to come back. What time is it? Not even one. Uh, I have to leave this area for a little bit. Great. What's my time at? What do you say it's not? Oh, it's only 20 minutes? It's a good sign. Uh, let's see if there's anything over here I can use. Because the game's time clock is actually pretty quick, so I don't think I'll waste the whole time out here. I'm gonna see if I can find it. Some freaking deer. When you think a deer wouldn't be this hard to find. Ah, screw it, I'll just rest. Let's go ahead and save for now. What 
Wait, was that a deer? Alright. Yeah, we probably passed with just fast traveled. <laughs> No animals, that's kind of sad. So, plain view is pretty plain, as you can tell. By the way, you gotta do this quick. I won't lie. This is like a bad idea. Yes, when do we change our spots? I got a fat, bad feeling. Mr. Marston, sir. John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. You implore me? Okay, okay, okay. So I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met. But my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, and certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> you read my mind. I can only deduce you've been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. Thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. Um, sir, sir, I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act for you. But, sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh. Sir, come and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. Hardworking souls of uh, plain view, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, uh -oh. backache, Fraud. swelling. This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time we take a business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, one and all. You fool. God damn it. Headshot. So Hello, son. Respect science. Wait, is that deer? That's a horse. Dang it. Wow, that was actually a really good shot. Screw it all that all you did all the time. Good job. Just 
got the gun! It ain't worth it! Seriously? Sure is lucky you came along when you did. Lucky for who? That's right. Who's next? He is. Well, it looks like the global expansion of your West Dickens elixir might have come across. Nonsense. Just another bump on your science construction road. I thought who was Pasteur didn't have to deal with this shit. <laughs> stuff is annoying. I cannot stand it. I'm sorry. I'm usually one of those people that like won't mind playing things on normal. Man, this is way too easy. All I have to do is just aim and shoot. Wait, you're off? Okay, maybe this is a bad idea putting this in normal. Oh! Get away from me! Now what next? Really? I'm in Mexico. Oh, that's tumbleweed, actually. Yeah, that's actually the bad side of tumbleweed. And we're not done with tumbleweed, just... What? Save your own life, Mr. Dickens, more than once. We made it, John. There's Quaver Seca up ahead. Still doing more swindling. Mr. Dickens. It always impresses me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Well, yes, uh, perhaps we should shelve the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Ratzgeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. Forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. Only $25, man.
I guess I'll help you one more time while I'm here.